speaker up. Y'all have been waiting all day for the last speaker, right? We can go home after this. And so after that, he 
sits there and the um, big tiger starts to like hit him, like box him a little bit, like slap him around a little bit. And the cub is like, what are you doing? Why are you hitting me? And he's just hitting him and hitting him and hitting him. And the cub's like, stop, ah, stop hitting me. Right? And he just keeps hitting him and he doesn't stop and he keeps hitting him and he doesn't stop and he keeps hitting him until finally the cub just can't take it anymore. If he gets hit one more time, he's going to lose his ish. I learned that last time. That was so he keeps hitting him. He keeps hitting him. And the cub's like, no, stop. No, stop. I can't take it anymore. No, stop. And then finally, at the very last second, he roars. There it was. His voice. He found his voice at the end. Right? And so I wanted to tell you this story. I'm the very last one. I came up here and everyone that has sat in front of you has given you amazing tips and tricks and tools to implement into your into your life. I came up here to empower you to be you. Who are you? Who are you? You? Right? So, let's get started. I gotta push a button. Okay, so everyone's got time paper, right? The last time I was on this stage, we cried, we laughed, we got all emotional. This time we're working. There's no laughing, crying. I mean, you might laugh, but you're not gonna cry. All right, so everybody's got time paper. I want you to tell me the top three people that inspire you. I want you to write it down right now. One, two, three. Who inspires you? A lady. So here's the thing. Don't ever think it. Write it down. The very first three people that inspire you. Who they are, let them pop into your mind and write them down. I don't care if it's Mother Teresa or your mom. There are people in your life that inspire you. No cheating. Don't look at your neighbor. I see people that are cheating. Cheaters. Mm -hmm. Your answers are better than hers. See if you All right. So now everyone's got three people written down. I don't care if you're white status or your black status. This is important. The people that inspire you are in your life for a reason. They came into your life because they're there to teach you that everything that you think that they are is already inside of you. Our subconscious recognizes the good qualities in people. That's why we're drawn to them. Our subconscious recognizes the people that have the qualities that already are innately in, in us. Right? All we have to do is start to cultivate them. All we have to do is start believing, first of all, having the courage to look into the pond and see who we really are. Second is to feed on the things that are actually going to nourish us. Now, what does that mean? Maybe that means, from what these other leaders have said, not sleeping as much. That's going to feed you because it's going to feed your business. Maybe it's finding a different herd. We talked about negativity. Maybe it's about finding your tribe. The people that believe in you more than you believe in yourself. That's what feeding on yourself is. That's what number two is. It's finding the people in your life that support you, that boost you, that make you feel alive. Right? And the last one, and this one is probably the most important one, Finding those qualities inside of yourself that you're going to have to start to cultivate and start, say it's courage. Say it's um, generosity, right? Those three people that are on your list have something good inside of them that you're drawn to. All you need to do is figure out what it is, and then your job is to start to cultivate that in your own life. So maybe it's, um, let, let's just say, uh, generosity, right? Maybe you want to be more generous in your life. What do you do? You start paying it forward in the Dunkin' Donuts line, buying the guy behind you some coffee. Maybe you clean out your closet and you take all of those bags and you give them to the girl that lives down the street who you know would love that stuff, right? Suddenly you're creating this sense of generosity in your own life. You're cultivating it. So then 
we talked about um, the idea of um, being able to look in the mirror. Then we talked about the idea of feeding with the right people, feeding on the right things that are going to fuel you and nourish you. The number one thing is that you have to be prepared to get knocked around. You have to be prepared to get hit and pushed down. And the people that you know are going to be those people, the tiger, that's batting you around, that's really pushing you to your limit. Those people are the ones that are going to help you find your voice. They're the ones that are going to help you find your roar. And once you find your roar, you found who you really are. And who we really are gets lost in translation. Over the course of our lives, we assimilate to being ghosts for survival, for fitting in, for fear. We assimilate for many reasons. And over the course of time, our inside voice becomes quieter and quieter and quieter. And we can't hear who we are anymore. We've lost it. Who am I? What do I have to give in this world? Right? So don't be afraid to get knocked around. Don't be afraid to be challenged for who you are. Don't be afraid to cultivate, get in, dig in, work. And then once it starts to manifest itself, don't be surprised when somebody starts slapping you around. Because it's going to happen. Haters going to hate. That's it. That's it. Right? Drop my name. No, I'm kidding. I'm so Alright, so we got that, right? We got how to cultivate our inner voice, how to reconnect with who we really are, right? You have those three people that inspire you. Those people have something that you're connected to. Think about it later, cultivate that, work on it. Now, how do we translate that into the world of social media? How do we parlay? who we are into a voice that makes sense on Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest and Twitter and Google, whatever, whatever, all those things, right? How? So, so we gotta go back here and go this one. Get your paper ready. Now I want you to tell me, come on.
create relationships with them. If you follow me, you know last week was my anniversary, my 14 year anniversary, and I posted a picture from 2002, our wedding day, to 2016 when we were on a cruise just a couple weeks ago, side by side. It was the most popular photo I've ever posted, had over 600 likes and like 60 something comments. And there were a lot of congratulatory comments. Right, like, yeah, yeah, they've been married, they made it over the seven year comma. Like, that's what a lot of people say. But there were other people that said, oh, wow, my anniversary is May 4th. Oh, wow, I've been married 14 years. Oh, wow, I got married in Fort Hood, Texas. Oh, that sounds amazing. I was 22 when I got married. What have I done? I've connected with every single one of those people, and now they feel like they know me. Now we feel like we're homies. And we are. <laughs> and we are. Right? They know me. We got it together. We're good to do it. We are, we are bonded. Right? Now they know me. They like me. They love me. Now they care about what I'm posting. Right? Now they might look at the next post. What's the next post? Maybe. Lashes. <laughs> They're good, okay. But it's not like buy now, it's not a shop here, it's not $29. No, it's like, look how I looked in 2002. Now look how I look in 2016. It's the unique difference, baby. Right? That's what they're thinking. Because that's what she's about. She's about yoga, she's about unique. It must be unique that makes her look so young after all these years and two kids and now she's up to have a grandbaby. No, it's not going to work. People will smell a fake a mile away. 
You've got to be true to who you are. And that's why I asked you to write that before I told you what it was. Because what you wrote down is true. Don't second guess it. That's who you are. Now be true to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Right? We all have that within us. We've talked about how to really tap into our true voice. Right? That's your homework. You got a lot of notes. You got a full notebook. Go home. Digest your three people that inspire you. Really think about those people that you're drawn to. What is it about them that you're drawn to? And then really set your heart to become that. Because it's already inside of you. All you got to do is manifest it. Okay? Think about the things that are your passion. And then over the next couple of weeks, start putting those out on Facebook. Because if your Facebook wall looks like a walking unique advertisement, you are missing the mark. I couldn't say that with more passion. Don't be one of those cheesy car salesmen. You are more than that. You are. You have so much more to offer than just a $29 mascara. What are you about? Show them who that is, and they will not leave you. You don't have to worry about them buying your mascara from somebody else. Because that will happen if you're not true to who you are. Okay? So we've had a long day. And I love you guys. And I'm going to leave you with one last thing. And then we're all going to get to go home. Everything that I told you. Go home with your homework. Check it out. With your inspirations. With your passions. Start to implement that. I guarantee you, you will start to read sales. You will start to read clients. And I don't want to call them customers. Those customers sound like a one-time deal. Clients sound like somebody that's going to be around for a while. Hairstylists don't call them customers. They call them clients. You know what I mean? Like you really got to build those relationships. And that's what you're going to do over the next couple of weeks. And the last thing I want to leave you with, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to push the right button. I'm going to tie it all back to that original story about who you are. About who you are. Every single one of you has something inside of you. Right? I told you the story about the goat and the tiger. And after a while, I found this roar. And why would you ever be a goat when you were born to be a tiger? You. Tiger. You. Tiger. 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 You are my herd. You are my pack. You are my tribe. And I want to see you all roaring and winning.